Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the Simpsons theme song. Okay, so check it out. I'll give you a quick preview of what you're going to learn in today's lesson. It's the main theme that goes like this. Check it out. <laughs> Let's get right into it, okay? So, okay, here we go. Let's break up this lesson into, let me see. Da, 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 okay, uh, we'll break it up into about, uh, let's say, two parts, okay? So, the second part will be a bit harder than the first part, okay? But doesn't matter, it's all good because there's actually a pattern to it, okay? So, first part, right hand goes like this, starting on the C here. So, middle C is here for reference. We go up an octave to this C, start on that C, go up to E up to F sharp, up to A, back down to G, then down to E, C, and then down to A, like that. Okay, so yeah, one more time for the right hand for this first part, so it goes like this, goes C, E, F sharp, A, G, E, C, A, like that. Okay, so that's the right hand for this first part, okay, so once you get that, Left hand, okay, so first of all, uh, we're gonna do the left hand as block chords first. I'll tell you the reason why, because there's actually a rhythmic pattern that we can learn afterwards that we complete this lesson, okay? So here we go. So we're gonna teach you in block chords for this left hand, and then after, at the end, we'll tell you the pattern, okay? So here we go. The first chord is very interesting. It's kind of like this, um, I guess, C major with a uh, augmented fourth, okay? Without, so there's only these three notes. So it goes, okay, I'll just tell you the notes, okay? C, E, F sharp, okay? So that is the first thing, and then the second, it's kind of like similar, but what you do, you take away the C at uh, the lowest part, and then you do an F sharp below, like that. Okay, for some of you guys, this might be hard for you to press, the F sharp E and F sharp, but yeah, okay, just try your hardest, okay? But at the end, once we do the pattern, you can see why it's actually not that bad. You can actually do it, okay? So yeah, remember these two particular um, chords, these interesting chords. So um, let me see. So it's this one, C, E, F sharp, followed by the lower F sharp, E, F sharp. So remember these two, because pretty much most of this lesson is comprised of these two interesting chords, okay? So these two. Okay. So yeah, remember these two chords because it's always repeating, okay? So just play it, I guess, like a few times back to back until you can get it, kind of like, like memorize it and not look at the keys and actually play it. Just like, like that. Yeah, okay, yeah, so that's what you want to aim to do, so not looking at the keys and still be able to play it like that for the left hand. Okay, but once you get that, okay, this is what you do, putting the two hands together. We always alternate between these two pretty much throughout the lesson, so um, it goes like this. First of all, the first chord with the C, E, and the next chord together, G and the C together, and the E and the F sharp one together, like that. Okay, one more time, so it goes like this, so it goes, together, 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 like that. So yeah, so get used to that first, okay? time so like that okay get used to that feeling of the chord okay so the second chord it is it is hard to press this chord but later on um at the end of the lesson as I said you can actually like separate it so it's actually not as hard as you think it is okay just yeah get the get the hang of this first so if you can't reach that for now um you can actually just do an octave or something if you want for now okay but either way at the end you'll understand why it's important okay so yeah so that's the first part like that okay moving on to the second and last part of this theme all right hand continues goes down to f sharp three times g and then f sharp three times again g up to b flat and then c c c c so there's four c's at the end just like that okay one more time for this second and last part of this theme so right hand goes uh, three f sharps one two three and g and then three f sharps again G, B flat, and then C, 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 like that. And that is the right hand for this second part, okay? So this is what happens here for the left hand. Once again, it's the same thing, which is the special C chord followed by the F sharp lower one. And you alternate between these two. However, the last bit, you do extra three of the C, finish off with the C major chord, which is C, E, G, like that. Yeah. So yeah, the alternating between the two chords, so 
I'll turn it for the second time. And then finish with that interesting C chord three times. And C major like that. And that is the left hand for this last part. Okay? So yeah. So the two hands together uh, goes like this. So F sharp and the interesting C chord together. Next one together with a G. C, interesting C chord by itself. Ryan comes in. The third F sharp and the F sharp interesting chord by, together. And then C and uh, uh, C, uh, interesting C chord together for three times. And then the fourth C on the right hand with the C major chord as finishing like that. Like that. So. Yeah, so that's the second part. So yeah, <laughs> okay, I guess obviously it's not the right term to call like the interesting C chord or interesting F sharp chord, but for this lesson, just just deal with that term because like I think it's easier for you to like remember it. So it's like, oh, is that one, is that one, the interesting one, the, the one that I'm not really used to. Because these chords, you actually don't really use it as much in other stuff, in a lot of like pop stuff, you don't really use those chords. So just, yeah, remember as those for this lesson and it will be a very quick for this lesson. So yeah, it goes like this. For the second part, one more time, so it goes, together, together, here, together, and then together, 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 like that. Yeah, so one is faster. Yeah, and that's it, okay? And that is the two parts. So back to back, the two parts will be played like this. Check it out. So it goes. That's it. Okay, so kind of play this melody and chord, a block chord version, until you can get it really smooth and like uh, flowing back to back without any mistakes and stuff. Once you can do that, then you can um, think about applying that um, left hand pattern that I was showing in, in, in the uh, preview. Okay, so for some of you guys who are a beginner, just I guess stick with the uh, other one that you learnt, okay, the block chord one, because like you require a bit of hand independence to control your left hand to do something different at the same time. But here's the pattern, it should be easier once you break it up like this. So here's what the pattern does, okay, so for all of the chords, um, well, not all of the chords, for the interesting C chord, you do this chord. Uh, so let me see, so it goes. Okay, so you can see for the uh, uh, C chord, it goes lowest note and then followed by the higher two notes for two times. And then the interesting F sharp chord, you start with the lowest note and then you go up to the higher two notes for two times. Like that. So it's like. Like that. Okay. Repeat that for all of the E chords until you can get this pattern like in your mind. Like what I'm doing right now, I'm talking to you. I'm actually not, not even looking at the keys as well. It's like kind of like on autopilot, like that. You want to get it to like that, that pattern. Once you can get it to autopilot like that, you can actually put the two hands together like this. Check it out. And then at the end, just... And that's it. Yeah, awesome stuff, right? bit of time to get your left hand onto autopilot and doing that pattern. But no problem, okay? With practice, it's all, no problem, okay? So yeah, and putting the two hands together will take a bit of time as well, but just remember uh, what I taught you in this lesson. Start with the block chord version, because from that, it was, it's just going to be a lot easier for you to go into the uh, this one. Because essentially, you're just applying the left hand rhythmic pattern to the uh, chords, and then yeah, you're getting it like that. But anyway, yeah, that's pretty much it, okay? So, um, have fun with it, I guess. So, start slowly, just da, 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 da. or go even slower if you need to. Yeah, because like you want to get the rhythm right first before you start building the speed. So yeah, 
have fun with it uh, and enjoy your time around my channel with my other tutorials broken up like this, really like step-by-step -step tutorials. Yeah, there's like 2,600 of them on my channel, so a lot of stuff for you to enjoy and learn from. And yeah, as for now, also check out my website, bestpianomethod.com to learn more about my methods and teachings, linked in the description below somewhere. But as for now, enjoy your time around my channel and see you next time. I'm glad you made it to the end of my video. Now you can visit my website to learn how to play this or any song you want through my methods explained through books and courses. Or just get me to make a full song video lesson or sheet music transcription on any song you want using my customized services. As for now, enjoy your time on my channel, subscribe and see you next time.